October is a beautiful month. In the Northern Hemisphere, the weather gets cooler, the leaves change from green to orange or red or even yellow. Pumpkins ripen on the vine. It's time for hot drinks and cozy nights when we can snuggle around the fireplace and sing songs or tell stories. October is a happy time when nature prepares for winter. In the Southern Hemisphere, October brings warmer weather and an escape from the cold of winter. Flowers begin to bloom, birds sing, and children throw off their jackets to run outside. Here too, October is a happy time of changing seasons when winter's chill melts into spring. But even though the weather may be different in your corner of the world, there is one holiday in October that many countries celebrate, Halloween. Halloween, or Day of the Dead as it is called in some places, is a very old holiday. Although customs and traditions may differ from country to country, the main celebration centers around the idea that the dead return to visit the living during this time of the year. For witches, Halloween is the most sacred day of the year. It is the day when the separation between the living and the dead is the most transparent. They don't celebrate with games and candy like the rest of the world. Instead, they conduct seances or perform dark secret rituals. The Bible tells us that death is nothing to celebrate. It is the sad consequence of disobedience to God's holy law. Romans 5.12 tells us that by one man sin entered the world and death by sin. Death separates us from our loved ones and is a silent reminder of the judgment of God. But God had compassion on the people he created and sent Jesus to pay the price of our sins through his death on the cross. Romans 5.8 says that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And this is how he showed his love to us. When we accept this gift, we can have eternal life where we will never be saddened by death again. Now, while October 31st is a celebration of death and darkness, Something happened on that day in 1517 that changed history. A man named Martin Luther nailed 95 theses, or arguments as we can say, onto the door of a church in Wittenberg that protested various teachings of the Catholic Church. This bold act started the Reformation where people across Europe and later around the world demanded proof from the Bible for their Christian beliefs. These Protestants, as they came to be called, no longer blindly accepted whatever the Catholic Church taught them. They refused to believe anything that could not be defended with Scripture. This October 31st, the Education Department of the General Conference, along with Orion Christian Academy, invites you to take some time to review the life of Martin Luther and the miracles God worked during the time of the Reformation. Orion Christian Academy's website has a variety of activities that you can do by yourself or with your family. For more information, we invite you to visit www.ocaedu.org. This October 31st, let's fill the day with the light of the Reformation message and be inspired to serve God as the early reformers did.